good morning dear friends good morning dear student and my dear colleagues i am lakshmikant kapgate assistant professor department of english shiv prasad sadanand jaiswal college arjuni marlo dist gundia dear friends today i am going to talk about a very important topic in uh, that comes under writing skill that is paragraph writing everyone knows that paragraph writing is a very important skill or very important uh, technique you can say that makes you uh, you know a good presenter because your thought will be presented through your words through your uh, sentences and ultimately through your paragraphs so what is paragraphs today we will learn we will in this presentation i will be focusing on what is paragraph what is topic sentences what is the supporting ideas or the supporting uh, you know sentences or uh, what is the paragraph structure and uh, we will try to understand the coherence or the unity or the uh, the development of a paragraph uh, to make it or to present very effectively so let's uh, begin just wait for a second i am going to share the screen so that uh, uh the presentation may start so today here we are going to start the paragraph writing so what is paragraph writing dear friends it is a series of sentences what i said it is a series of sentences means there are so many sentences means more than uh, one or more than two sentences are there right so that are organized and coherent and are related to a single topic called paragraph it means a paragraph is a series of sentences right that are organized and coherent and all the topics or all the sentences are related to a single topic almost every piece of writing you do that is longer than a few sentences should be organized into paragraph right so that is why he says that keep breaking into a large sentences essay right breaking the large sentence essay or topic into smaller pieces this is a very important point that we have to learn in relation to the paragraph or the paragraph writing because we are you know classifieds or we are just uh, uh, presenting the fragmented thought but in fragmented uh, paragraph you can say but one paragraph should uh, should include a uh, you know at least three or five uh lines or the five sentences not more than that otherwise the impact or the effectiveness of the paragraph may lose or uh, it may not be visible to the audience to the readers and when we talk about a very important uh topic the paragraph writing we must learn or all the students should keep in their in their mind that key uh, topic sentence supporting sentence as well as the concluding sentences that refers all miss the overall structure which is a group of sentence and focusing on a single topic take the example of uh, my school so on the topic of my school when you talk the first opening sentence of that paragraph should be the topic sentence miss that sentence should give the direct information or the brief idea about that topic to the audience to the reader and Uh, after that there are supporting sentences miss logically or you know technically all these issues or all these ideas are logically connected with each other miss uh, you cannot write one sentence from another source and you cannot write one sentence from different source so it should be logically connected what i said just now and when you finish this uh, paragraph the last sentence means the concluding sentence of that paragraph that expose that expresses the summary means like uh, the topic sentence so this is very important about the paragraph writing and now there are some elements or there are some important points that we have to learn here so before going into the details let's understand the unity your paragraph should be united means there should be an unity in your thoughts in your opinion in your feelings that you are going to express through your words second one is coherence 
coherence is also is equal to or it is uh, same as the uh, unity or you can say the uh, the, the uh, coherent structure of the um, paragraph and uh, even uh, as we have already talked about the topic sentence because that plays a very important role in writing paragraph right so paragraph writing is not just expressing your views about any topic in a group of sentences right so it is all about structuring ideas in a clear format to make the reader fall in love with the topic and continue their studying till the end or till to an end of the topic so this is a very important topic and there should be an adequate development miss simultaneously or uh, the logical connection of your thoughts of your presentation should be there in the uh, next paragraph too so here uh, you must remember one thing that ki while writing paragraph about any topic it is more important to maintain the quality and the flow of the paragraph than the words count you just you should not uh, count the lines and the words in a sentence but you should maintain the quality quality means standard of your thoughts and the flow of your uh, uh, the feeling or the words or the connection uh, uh, with each other means there should be a reciprocal relationship between the the thoughts and the ideas so that is why uh, we will see another part the next one is uh, parts of a paragraph now see when we go and uh, learn or try to understand the parts of paragraph or the paragraph writing we must know or in this presentation i will explain you the simple ways to understand the topic sentences the supporting sentences or the supporting com components and the concluding sentences right so the basic paragraph means any basic paragraph consists three paragraphs or the three parts you can say three Uh, types of uh, you know uh, three kinds of uh, parts are uh, working in a paragraph number one is topic sentence second the supporting details and the third one is concluding sentence we are going to study or we are going to learn one by one so let's talk about the topic sentence dear student the topic sentence is the first sentence of a paragraph means the opening sentence of a paragraph is known as the topic sentences and that may state or that should state the main idea means the the the, the summary or the brief idea about any paragraph must be included in the first sentence or the topic sentence and it should displays or that topic sentence will displays how the idea connects to the to the thesis or to any topic to any essay to any composition and the overall focus of a paper right for example you are writing a story you are writing a, a you are writing a report so all these ideas should be connected and uh, should be logically connected with each other so uh, you understood what is the topic sentence the topic sentence is the first or the beginning uh, that that comes in the very beginning or the first opening sentence of a paragraph and uh, uh, it gives us to the audience to the reader or it tells us the main idea means the main important gist the subject matter or the brief idea about uh, any essays any topic that should be included in the main idea or in the main um sentences or that is the topic sentences and uh when you talk about the topic sentence it should or that should be a uh, very terse means in a very few lines or in a few words you must consist you must you know borrow or you must gather all these thoughts and present the main idea of your paragraph right so that will make what your paragraph will be about right then the supporting details what are the supporting details so let us understand the supporting sentences explain more about the topic sentences 
by showing some facts. Remember, showing some facts, uh, um, statistics, or examples regarding the topic. Means when you go and explain any topic, um, you know, in the form of a paragraph in the essay, you must explain with the help of various examples, various, you know, uh, supportive ideas, supportive concern, you know, um, events you can borrow from other sources and present in your thoughts. So with the help of examples or when you present uh, your thoughts, your opinion with the help of examples that may, uh, you know, uh, gives a, a great impression or that may, um, that makes great impression on the mind of the listener or the audience or the reader. And it also includes the writer's experiences and the own analysis and used to develop the topic sentences, right? So what is important here? Suppose you are writing an essay on your experiences or the, that consists your experiences. For example, my first visit to Agra, right? So that time you should uh, talk about the ideas that you have experiences when you go there, when you experience there, right? Your you know, analysis of that area, of that place, of that beautiful monuments. So there are some important common origins of supporting details. So let's see one by one. There are some, you know, uh, according to, uh, uh, you know, uh, applestopper.com website, there are some uh, eight uh, supporting or, or the supporting details. For example, you can borrow the expert's opinion, right? Personal experiences, brief stories, your own analysis, facts and statistics, uh, the other experiences, research studies, and interviews. So these supporting details that comes after or that will come after the topic sentences and that makes a body or that makes a, a, the, you can say the main body or the middle part of a paragraph or any composition. And they always gives me all these supporting details gives the details to develop and supports the main idea. Miss, we can use the examples, we can enjoy the examples with the help of these uh, supporting details. And when you uh, are uh, the, the writer, or you can say the, the man who is going to write a paragraph, he should give supporting facts that makes our thought concrete, that gives uh, you know, power or you can say the, you know, great uh, concreteness to our ideas so that people can read our uh, paragraph, our uh, stories. And the last, last important thing is, or the point is concluding sentences. So this is what we have learned. The, uh, the last stanza of the paragraph, when we summarize our thoughts, in a single sentence in, at the last or at the end of the paragraph that known as final statement about any topic. And it ties all ideas given in the paragraph and emphasize the main idea one last time, right? So in simple words, the writer usually restate, means he retells the ideas that are already presented in the topic sentences and the supporting details, right? It means that uh, the closing sentence in the last sentence in the paragraph, right? That is the meaning of concluding sentence. And you can also uh, you know, understand that with these words that it restates the main idea and it restates the main, uh, main idea of the paragraph using different words. For example, we say in a nutshell, right? Therefore, so these are the various words uh, or with the help of these words, we can conclude our paragraph, our thoughts, our ideas in a writing, right? So now let us come to the another part or another type or another important part of paragraph writing. That is the type of paragraph, right? So uh, generally or basically there are four types of paragraph that you need to know about or that we are going to learn about uh, here. Number one is a descriptive type of paragraph, right? 
and uh, second one is uh, narrative third one is expository and the fourth one is persuasive right so in these or with the help of these types we can understand very easily but before going into the details of all these let's talk about the first one that is descriptive type of paragraph so this type of paragraph describes the topic and displays the reader what the top or what the subject included in it right and uh, this descriptive term or the term descriptive selected from the or in the description type that usually appeal to the five senses of touch smell sight sound and taste means the sensuousness is there in this form in this type you can say means the things that you can touch that you can smell that you can see that you can sound that you can test all these ideas that comes under a uh, descriptive type of writing and that is why this type of or this descriptive type of paragraph is more artistic and may be vary from grammatical standard it means that ki there are some ideas there are some important ideas that may be imaginative uh, you know fancy ideas you can use and that can uh, please to the reader to the uh, to the uh, reader of this of your ideas of your uh, points and then the second one is we will see one by one second point is narrative type of paragraph so narrative type of paragraph narration means it is also you know it it also known as a uh, Uh, no, writing right so in this part of in this type of paragraph uh, we always means the narrator or the writer always narrates a story that includes a sequence of a topic sentences like a clear start middle of the topic and end to the uh, paragraph right so there is a opening there is a middle there is a end so systematically step by step it goes on right so that is also known as narrative type of paragraph number 3 is expository type of paragraph what is the meaning it defines something or give instruction right it may also explain a process and influence the reader step by step via a form of a method or a form of the method and this expository para usually needs a research right means whatever you are going to present that should come out from a research from your study from case studies and then after you can present your thoughts you can present you can prepare your report on this on on any topic you can say and it is possible to rely on the writer's own knowledge and the experiences for example a person who is going to do the case study of any area of any person of any village so he can present he can pour his ideas in his writing and his experiences he can describe in the paragraph right so this is the third one para expository type of paragraph number 4 is persuasive right the persuasive type of paragraph now what is the meaning let me read this kind of paragraph seeks to make the audience to admit a writer's point of view or know his or her position right and in this paragraph writing or in this kind of paragraph we often use or this kind of paragraph are often used by the teachers because it is beneficial when they you know when building an argument and it also makes a writer to research and collect some facts on a topic right so this is how we can understand the uh, the important the ideas about the or about the topics of paragraph writing so uh, till now we have studied what is paragraph writing what are the main important things that includes in a paragraph number one is topic sentences second supporting details and the third one is a uh, concluding sentence and then after we have uh, learned the types of uh, 
paragraph writing number one is descriptive second one is narrative third one is expository and the fourth one is persuasive type of paragraph right i hope that you have understood whatever i have discussed till now now uh, there are some important words or there are some important useful words or transitional words to write a good paragraph or effective paragraph for example um, there are certain words and with the help of these words we can expand our thoughts we can ex increase the length of your sentences your thoughts and your philosophy also so to show addition means when you are going to show any addition in your thoughts or uh, for example uh, um, i am his friend and uh, he's uh, you can say uh, i love him right for example i said miss two sentences are connected with uh, connected in a single uh, sentence right so to add another topics or to um, add another uh, ideas in our sentence we can add these words for example again and also beside equally important first further furthermore in addition in the first place moreover next to right and when you go and write about the supporting details uh, in supporting details you can uh, describe the examples so while giving examples you can give uh you can write with the help of these words for example for instance in fact specifically that is to illustrate right and when you uh, try to compare between two objects two things or two places or two people or two personalities so you can also use these words for example uh, also in the same manner likewise similarly right again to contrast to show the contrast between two things or you know in our paragraph although and yet at the same time but beside despite even though however in contrast in spite of nevertheless on the contrary on the other hand still though it right and when you conclude your uh, ideas in the concluding sentences or in the last sentences of the paragraph you can use these words all in all in a nutshell in conclusion in other words in short in summary on the whole that is therefore to sum up right so these are the various uh, you know ideas or these are the various you know effective words that you can borrow in your ideas or you can use in your uh, you know writing paragraph and i hope that when you practice with these words your ideas will be very effective when you go and write your ideas many student for example this paragraph writing uh, is not just limited to any uh, faculty or to the ba or ba bcom or bsc this is relevant or this is related to every people because everyone is a reader and everyone is a writer so to write in english to write in effective english you can say you you can use these words and present your thoughts in your question paper or in your examination in your answer sheet right so that is the meaning or that is the important ideas then uh, we can learn to you to some uh, useful transitional words uh in the next slide in the previous slide we have seen there are some other words we will see uh for example to show time afterwards as long as as soon as at least before during earlier finally you can read on the screen and to show some places or direction you can use you know these are some are uh, prepositions uh, you know prepositions you know uh, there are two types of prepositions one is uh um, that talks about the time and the, another one is that talks about the place and direction for example above below beyond close elsewhere uh further on here nearby opposite on the left right and to indicate a logical relationship we can use these words accordingly as a result because consequently uh, for this reason hence 
if uh, otherwise since and uh, then therefore thus right so these are the various words that you can use in our uh, writing in your uh, you can say ideas so my dear student i hope that you have learned what you, uh, what i said just now i hope that you have uh, understood in this in this presentation and i am sure that you will start practicing all these ideas you will start practicing all these uh, words in writing paragraph in writing various ideas with the help of various uh, words right so uh, uh, for today this is enough and in the coming lecture in the coming uh, video i will be talking uh, on the another topic right so today uh, i hope that you have enjoyed uh, this ideas which i just explain in front of you uh, with the help of this video so uh, let me summarize in short so what is paragraph La lastly i am going to repeat once again so that you can remember all these words so paragraph is a self contained unit of a conversation in writing that dealing or that deals with a particular point or idea or a topic it means a paragraph composed one or more sentences right i i already told you in a paragraph in a you know in a beautiful or effective paragraph there should be at least five sentences or the five lines right and though not required by syntax of any language paragraph are normally an anticipated part of a formal writing used to uh, form longer prose and it has a topic sentences or topic sentence that supporting sentences and uh, you can say the supporting sentences that all associates its uh, merely to the topic sentence right so uh, in short my dear student a good paragraph writing makes you win in any conversation right this is very important for you because to write a very beautiful paragraph is very important because of a neat and succinct uh, explanation about the topic your thoughts your personality may grow in future so this is all about for uh, paragraph writing uh, thank you